Hey guys, Pete here. Today's Game of Thrones Season 8 video is going to focus in on one scene from one of the teasers that just came out the other day. It's not the video I was planning on making today, but I saw some chatter about it and started looking at it, and well, I decided to make a video about it. This video will contain a spoilerish discovery that some people made on Twitter. So if you're super spoiler adverse, as in you watch promos and trailers, but then don't want to know if people discover things that might give away some of the story later from those promos, then this video is not for you. Honestly, I didn't know that people fit in that category, like there was that category, but I was looking through some things on Reddit today and I realized that they do actually exist. So yeah, if you don't like that kind of stuff, this is definitely that kind of stuff. So there's been a ton of promo material coming out. We're getting really close. It's like 12 days to go. There was a new poster that shows everyone dead, more or less, and they're posed in the snow, frozen in the shape of the Iron Throne. That was accompanied by another one of their teasers, like a pure teaser, similar to the one that we saw with John, Arya, and Sansa in the crypts. This one was called Aftermath and shows the yard in Winterfell with artifacts tied to all the major characters left behind. It's a really nice looking spot, but I don't imagine this is actual footage that will be in season eight. Like it's just a pure teaser, that's why I call it that. And although it's interesting, especially the Night King leaving at the end and all that, I didn't see a point in making a whole video about it. It's symbolic, there's some interesting stuff there, but it doesn't really show anything for sure that we could say, hey, this is gonna be in, in the season, what does it mean? So I would just say watch it and see what you think. There's also been a ton of season eight photos getting printed in different magazines, which are really nice. We see the Winterfell library. It looks like there's gonna be a sit down between Daenerys and Sansa. So I've seen some people talking about that. But the thing I've been obsessing about all day is from the Together teaser, which I already made a video about the other day. Together was the one that starts out with Tyrion doing the voiceover. He's talking in the Great Hall of Winterfell. In that official trailer, we see this shot of Jon and Daenerys, which I mentioned, obviously, it was a new shot, but she's standing looking at a fire in a fireplace, and he's standing behind her. Things look pretty tense, and we see what looks like him leaving and her not even turning around to watch him go, like, you know, she looks pretty mad. When I first looked at it, I assumed that they were at Winterfell because we assumed that everything in these trailers would be from the first couple of episodes. Even though I expect a lot of stuff to happen in these few episodes, I really didn't expect to see any of the major characters moving around the map because, as we've seen in some of these photos, they're all going to be preparing to fight the battle. They're going to know that the Night King and the White Walkers are coming, so they're going to do what we've seen them do they're gonna prepare right so yeah i thought it was at winterfell for sure but then i saw this twitter post that someone i know retweeted it was a brightened version of the trailers that at wild targaryen posted like it was brightened up so you could see what was going on in them better and in the replies of that post another twitter user at 7 Sen 31 posted a short clip of the shot from the trailer superimposed over a picture of Daenerys sitting in front of the same fireplace in season 7. Obviously Daenerys was in Dragonstone in season 7 and the fireplace is in Dragonstone and it looks like these pictures match up pretty well. Like exactly more or less. There could be some trickery involved that I don't know about but it looks pretty convincing to me. So if they are in Dragonstone in this shot, the question is, what are they doing there? Or when are they there, at the very least? It has me stumped for a couple of reasons, so I figured I'd make a video looking at the different possibilities. There's no way, really, to say when exactly this falls in the timeline, since there aren't many visual clues. My thinking had been that all of what we've seen in the trailers would be prior to the battle in Episode 3, though. That makes sense. It makes sense that they would do that because shit isn't exactly going to be the same after that happens. It's the Battle of Winterfell. It's the big thing that they've been really playing up, right? We know it's in episode three and it's a defining moment. Things aren't going to be the same after it's over. People will die and so on and so forth, showing scenes that fans could figure out were in episodes four, five, or six wouldn't be a great strategy for HBO because we're thinking anyone could die in that battle. 
if we see characters doing anything after the Battle of Winterfell, then that gives a lot away. So keep that in mind when I go over these options as for why they could or would go south. So the first explanation for this shot of them at Dragonstone is that this is after episode three. The Battle of Winterfell is over and they both survived. Jon and Daenerys both survived the battle. That could happen as if they, they fought and they defeated the Night King and then they stop at Dragonstone before going to King's Landing. If the battle has happened, they won, they lived, then this isn't an outrageous idea. Dragonstone is close to King's Landing, so that's not outrageous that they would stop there if they're moving south after their victory. The other way that could go down is the Night King destroyed Winterfell and they retreated there. That could work, but if the Night King was chasing the survivors, like whoever was left over after they overran Winterfell, would Jon and Daenerys just peace out and fly their dragons down to Dragonstone and wait for everyone to arrive? I mean, that seems a little bit strange. So both of these are iffy. I, I don't think that everyone is going to survive the Battle of Winterfell. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. I mean, I go kind of back and forth. Sometimes I think that they're going to kill the Night King there and it's all going to be done. And other times I'm not sure. But either way, these are the, those are the two post-Battle of Winterfell kind of ideas. Neither one's perfect, but you could kind of make them work if you had to. Another idea is one I don't like that much, but it's worth mentioning because if I don't, then someone will tell me in the comments that they think it's that. So Daenerys could find out about the Night King raising Viserion. She might see this as a real threat to her dragons that are still alive, and she may decide to leave for that reason. I don't think it's likely because nothing, I mean, she has already lost Viserion when she went north the last time, and she's still going to Winterfell to fight the dead. Like, she's not really thinking about it in terms of like, well, maybe this is a good idea or a bad idea. It's an imperative, you know, like we have to save everyone from this threat. It just doesn't seem to me that she would be like, oh, well, that's a little bit too risky now that he has a dragon too. You know what I mean? It's just nothing has really come along in the series so far to make me say that that's what she would do. Essentially, though, if you think that this is possible, then that could be the explanation is that this is in the first three episodes. It's before the Battle of Winterfell and they just essentially went there. If that's the case, though, then why would John accompany her there? Like, if she was just going to leave, why would John accompany her in that scenario? Uh, wouldn't he be like, all right, we'll see you, because, because we know his main priority is certainly to fight the dead. I guess you could take it one step further and say that she left, and then he decided to go and ask her one more time. He followed after the fact or something. But yeah, I just don't think that's as likely. The other one is the thing that I was talking about in my Daenerys Problems video I made a few days ago. In that scenario, John learns that Daenerys is pregnant with his child, and he forbids her to fight in the battle. There is some visual evidence for this. All of the stuff that we've seen in the trailer so far, at least stuff with John in it, is John fighting on the ground. For at least part of the Battle of Winterfell, John is, is going to be fighting on the ground with his sword, like he's out there doing hand-to-hand -hand combat. We don't see any dragons in the trailers at all. Of course, this doesn't really mean much. They could be holding back. I mean, we barely see the whites in the videos so far. We only see the one indication of one White Walker. So we don't really know how the battle is going to escalate. We just know that what we've seen so far, there seems to be some fire in the background, although I think that there's going to be bonfires and stuff to go along with the dragon glass traps. But if John did say that he wanted Daenerys out of there, sent her to Dragonstone where she'd be safe, then that could be why we don't see that in the trailers. We don't see any dragons really fighting in the trailers so far. To me, that seems like something that he would do. I mean, that's what I said the other day when I made that video. I don't foresee him telling her to go out and fight. I, I expect that she would want to. I don't think that that would really sideline her necessarily. I think that's a pretty plausible storyline. I used the word forbid for that reason. Like, he basically tells her she can't fight. 
Of course, this is not perfect either because we don't know how fast the Night King and the White Walkers are descending on Winterfell. Like, would they have time to just be hanging out in Dragonstone and having a conversation that looks heated like this? And, you know, the stuff I said about Rhaegal, like he would have to fly Rhaegal to Dragonstone. That's the only way he could get there and back to the Battle of Winterfell in time. Like, we know he's at the Battle of Winterfell, so he'd have to be in both places, which I imagine that they would tell us he rode the dragon. That's how he was able to get back and forth. But then, like, if he's doing that, if he's flying Rhaegal north to south and everything else, what's he going to do? Put Rhaegal in a pen and, you know what I mean? Like, he's not going to fight with it. Like, he, it doesn't it doesn't work out exactly so yeah it's 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 interesting and it's problematic at the same time in conclusion i think it definitely looks like they're in dragonstone i think logically it makes sense that if they go there like if hbo shows us a scene that's there that the scene has to be before the third episode it could be a slip up but they're pretty in tune with how seriously people break things down at this point you know what i mean like they w it wouldn't be surprising to them that people would figure this out that this is where this is at there had we just look at the photos there's plenty of other things they could have shown rather than like grabbing a, a, a you know a one second clip from episode five or episode four or something like that so to me it seems more likely that it's before the battle of winterfell rather than after and then if it is that then and it seems more likely to me that John would be saying, hey, you can't fight because you're with child rather than Danny saying that she doesn't want to do it anymore. She changed her mind. And that is where I will leave it. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. I don't know if there's any other major explanations for it. I mean, I couldn't think of any that were obvious. I saw on Reddit some of the people saying it might be a flashback or it might be something like that. I doubt it's that. But I'm interested to hear what you guys think. So let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please give it a like. I will pick up the Problem series again soon after this. I'm not sure. Maybe the day after tomorrow i'll be trying to get out another video in that series if anything else interesting comes out between now and then i'll be sure to make a video about that thanks for watching i will talk to you soon